It's gonna, by the way, if you want to put some money in something, don't hesitate. Get in quick. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. I'm down. I'm down. Hey. Good morning. She's up with being down, or down with being up. Yeah, you I am. Get up to get down. Just know that I'm down. <laughs> you got to get up to get down. Like a right. Get down, get down. Get get down. It is. It's on. And the spicy. We had. A, I had a parrot growing up that used to sing that song. He said. Mm. He used to what? say. Get down, booty. Uh huh. Got to get down. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> he used to sing that. <laughs> spicy in the middle. And there was it was hilarious. But did you have one of these? Yeah. I thought you said you got me two. Oh, I've got a kitty bag okay. for you. I have one there. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, baby. I don't want to take away from the group so if I got my own. They are okay. very smart. Oh no 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 no. He was a those smart stepper. He got out one time he flew on our neighbor's roof. I'm just giving you those. And he was saying bye bye. See you later. Or like what? The only way to get him down was to um, hose him so he couldn't fly because his wings were oh, wow. clipped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very smart birds. Parrots, you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, he was a double yellowhead parrot, and uh, those guys can pick up like that. You know, there are there are those coffee places around town Need called it. Coffees for Less. Have okay. you ever been to one? Mm. No. Each of them has a okay. parrot in there. Mm. Okay. Oh. And, um, each of them? I thought it was just the one. No, each of them. And so, like, this one by the airport, one day I went in there, you, you have, uh, and he started singing opera. And it was gorgeous. Wow. Right? Yeah. And it made me right. giggle. And as soon as I giggled, he went, oh, just like me. And that made me go, oh, my God. And he went, oh, my God. <laughs> I realized what parroting meant when I yeah. saw that bird. Sure. It was point. crazy yeah. how well yeah. you could do that. And they were so intelligent. Wow. So he didn't, because I, I thought yeah, that it was in French. No, no. no. Right immediately. Wow. And he would sing, and it was beautiful. <laughs> well, I saw this one on YouTube. Have you guys seen this one on YouTube where the... The parrot, he's a little guy, he's green, he's about that big, and his, his stand is right next to a mirror, and so the mirror stood his right, and he goes, he turns his head this way, and he looks this way, he goes, peek-a-boo, and then he goes that way. Oh, how and cute! Goes, and he keeps doing it. They're so friendly. friendly. Yeah, parrot. God. They're good company. They really are. Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. my, my friend had him a car, and she said... self-mirrored or something? Yeah, it is interesting. They like certain voices. Anyway. Hmm. Just got a dream. But, uh... Good, good. Is it the logos that they're parroting? I don't know if they'll anything. I don't know. It is a good song, isn't it? Yeah. The personality.
Ya. right now but then he's not really thrilled with the idea that's true he's not really thrilled with the idea so i don't there's like a contradiction there yeah. <clears throat> so there's two two sides to it one he's You're he's sure. good and <clears throat> he's not good. <clears throat> what would you do with it <laughs> well, what was your state of mind same thing what with happened? Don, what don just said Right. What happened? What what are you going to do with your concerns to address the dream? Nothing wrong with the set. Mm -hmm. I'm good. The first first sentence of the second paragraph Mm -hmm. um, where it says, I think that is cool, but I hop on the wall. Uh, I'll go there because... He seems to be having a very high state of mind, but then for some reason, um, in this sentence it looks like he's, um, he puts it as secondary. Yeah. I would either ask him about that state or the one where he says, I have a concern. I have a, I have a concern. I have a concern. concern. I have another idea. I'd want to know about those last um, two sentences. The homeowner calls the cat and it goes over and it turns back to kitten size. Why are you laughing? That is like... No, no. Why are you laughing? Because it's like a... um, And I'm like, grab it. Those two are really... Weird. Okay, you're, you're picking out what seems to you to be weird. Right. That's, that's okay. It's like magical. That's a, or way, that's a way of approaching it. So mm-hmm. maybe read it for the, the video of my recorder. Good, good, <laughs> good. Well, wait, wait for the Sure, yeah. for this, sure. Ah, sure. uh, uh, Jeff Aru. No suggestions, sorry. Okay. Ah, Regina, didn't know you were there. I, I saw you leave. I'm, I would look, I yeah. go kind of off trail, but mm-hmm. definitely okay. people have gone this way. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, but he can see where they've walked through the tall grass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I really haven't gotten all the way okay, through the okay, dream yet. Okay, okay, okay. Well, so, sure. So this uh, 
I'm in like an African National Park and I kind of go off trail. So this park, it looks, it's really tall grass, but it also sort of resembles like Huntington Beach Central Park. Mm -hmm. yeah. But not entirely, like there's stuff that, uh, uh, okay, so I'm in like an African National Park and I kind of go off trail, but people definitely have gone this way before. I could see where they walked through the tall grass. So this grass is be I mean, waist high, but it's knocked down. So more than one person has gone this way. Uh, so yeah, I'm on a flat spot, and then I get to a hill where it starts dropping down. I do this move where I'm kind of gliding instead of really walking, and I'm moving quickly. It's sort of like a jump kick that I just go for, I don't know, a quarter or a half mile down this hill, like really fast. Um, going along this trail, or or so-called trail, or at least not what I'm accustomed to. So, in the dream, I recognize I'm accustomed to Western, you know, like trails out here in the Sierra Nevadas or LA, and it doesn't look anything like that. Uh, it's flatland, then it starts dropping down. I'm kind of at the border of the park because there's a wall. I start zipping down this thing. The, the trail really fast, or the hill. I'm kind of checking it out. I'm flying, but I have a concern. The grass is really tall, and I'm concerned that there might be like vipers in there. So um, in the dream, my thought is, uh, so like in out here in the west, I don't walk through tall grass. There's snakes out there, and it's kind of stupid to do that. I prefer to stay on the trail, or go. there's ways to avoid the snakes. And I'm certainly, well, in the dream, zipping past it, I'm going so fast as they'll never get me, but, uh, uh, right, and then it says, uh, the grass is really tall, and I'm concerned there might be vipers down there, I can't see them, and I think it's all good right now, going down, but I'm going to have to walk back up this, and my legs are going to be in the grass, and I'm really not thrilled with that idea, so that's, the. Uh, I'm going to have to go through this, and there could be snakes, and I can't see them. So I get to the bottom of this thing, and there's four elephants. And I think that's really cool, but I hop up on the wall, which I can climb. And it's just a really tall wall, like 20 plus feet. Uh, the elephants, when they jump at their highest, can't get me. So my thought is, I like the idea of there being elephants, but I don't really want to be near them. Like, because they're elephants and wild <coughs> animals, and they'll smash me. So, uh, no thanks. But, uh, so yeah, the wall is a safe spot to be and be near the elephants. Okay, so the elephants, when they jump at their highest, can't get me. I'm watching them, and just to test it, I spit on one of their heads. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of being like a little kid spitting off the Golden Gate Bridge just to watch it go down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, there's no way they can get to me, but I'm also stuck on the top of this wall until they leave. And I'm good with it. Like, I recognize that they're in control of leaving this area, and I'm going to be up here until they choose to move on. Uh, the scene shifts. So, this part here, I'm on a wall, and all the elephants are on the, on the right, and the scene shifts, and now I'm looking to the left side of the wall, but I'm in a house. Uh, I'm still on the wall, but I'm in this person's house, and there's a little girl, and she has a couple of kittens. But they turn into full-grown female tigers, so they, like, transform. And the tigers can't climb the wall either, but they're sure trying. So, say this wall is 20 feet, they're getting up, like, 15 of it. You know, like, ooh. They're trying to get you? Well, it seems that way. They're trying to climb that wall, and they're tigers, and I'm not... I don't like tigers getting near me. It's kind of worse than elephants. I was going to say, or <laughs> <laughs> I, don't like I don't like elephants near me. I don't like snakes, elephants, or tigers, any of them being near me. Uh, okay, then one comes out, and it's a male tiger, and apparently the male tigers can jump higher and are bigger. This thing jumps, and it gets onto the wall. It's like kind of slowly climbing up, and it's. Uh, okay. It jumps, it gets onto the wall, it's, and it's about to get on on top with me and I'm like hell no and it looks like it wants to get me and I kind of grab it and kind of kick it off or it's not exactly clear how I get the thing off but 
Uh, it doesn't fully do it. So it's not totally clear what that means. But anyway, the tiger is removed from the wall. I can keep it away from me. Uh, the homeowner calls the cat. This is an adult. And it goes over and turns back down to kitten size. And I and I say to the homeowner, grab it. I'm like, grab it. And um, that thing was going to get me. And they do. They pick up the <clears throat> tiger kitten. Good. So look here. Forget what you find as weird. Okay. Forget what strikes you as curious. Okay. Forget what you think. It isn't worth it. <clears throat> when you look at a dream or anything you're reading or studying, what is the whole thing? What is the thing that's operating as a whole? Right. Say, you gotta go for the whole. Forget the parts. Forget what you think is mm -hmm. curious and all that. Forget all that. Mm -hmm. right. What's what's the major thing? Something is there might something get him. is there something about the theme mm -hmm. that is incomplete? Mm -hmm. um, is it presenting some kind of activity or some kind of power? Um, mm -hmm. Does it have? Uh, is it being? How is it being used? Does it have any limitations? Um, what does the person do as a whole with this thing that he has? Because it's a, an ability, isn't it? A rather unusual ability. Looks like certain events in, in the drama uh, show some of the limitations and some of the positive aspects of it. Now, what would you do? Just give him that as a preamble. What would you say? Oh, well, globally, come on. Well, he's gliding, so that's a good state of mind. But he's also but waiting no, no, a lot no, no, of times no, 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 for no, things no, to please, happen. Please, 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 please. It's a power. Oh. Come on, raise it above the image. He has a new kind, a very interesting kind of what? Power. Thank you. Power. Ah. You could have a wall climbing there too, because yeah. I guarantee you I can't climb a 20 plus foot wall without something to grab onto, but in the dream I kind of spider man it right on up. <laughs> I don't know, it's not even clear, I just went That's right up the wall. That's right, see? You could go power. up and down, no choice. Power. Power. Ability. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the limitations in it? Are there limitations in it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, can you spot them? Yes. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Right, the glide part goes down, and it, according to the words, I can't glide back up. That's right. See, there's a limitation to yeah. the power that he has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. I could yeah. shoot right up this wall, yeah. but I can't just make the elephants go away at, right. at will. Right. Uh, kind of watching and waiting for them to leave. Right. Uh, okay. I'm at their, uh, in the elephant's part, I'm at their whim of when they choose to leave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, is he using the power that he has throughout the dream? Like a moment ago, yeah. he mentioned the fact mm -hmm. that it allowed him to get to that 20-foot wall. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. But he's not utilizing the power that he has in the beginning of the dream, is he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. What are the negatives? What does it appear that he's now doing with this position he has that came to him as a result of the power? Giving it to someone else. It sounds like he's giving it to someone else by saying, grab it, get it off me. Okay, what, what major terms would you use in general? Come on, just say in general, say the whole well, part. He, get, he gets forgets stuck. It. He forgets it. Forgets it. Then he turns around. What's he doing? How, how is he using this new ability? Piss off the That's elephants. Right. Taunting. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it, taunting. It, I'm attempting to. It doesn't do anything to the elephant. It doesn't care. Yeah. Uh, so, and it, and it's, it doesn't work. 
It's a, a wasted activity. Right. right. He doesn't conclude in the dream. That's right. He doesn't conclude right. Right. that the snakes are never going to get me. I'm safe up here. The elephants are going to get me yeah. and kick this tiger's ass. Yeah. He but he gets stuck in a position where he's vulnerable. Or that he doesn't uh, like. I'm he not gets, vulnerable. He's not vulnerable. Mm-hmm. They're well, reading into it. He's not vulnerable. But like the, mm-hmm. he knows he's got to walk back up that hill to the vipers. That's not true. It's not even clear that there are vipers. Oh. No, you're, you're, no. you're assuming okay. something on top right. of the story. I'm so like in the dream, the vipers. I'm assuming that this is sort of like California, where there's rattlesnakes out there. Yeah. Because I'm in a environment that I'm not really familiar with. Mm-hmm. Right. Never okay. There. Now, given given this as a background, all right? Could you change your direction and how to analyze, make an analysis of the dream? Right. What kinds of questions would you now pose as a result of what we just said? I focus on his concerns. What what concerns? Um, the like I'm flying, but I have a concern. I'd like to know about that. What's his concern there? Why? It's well. The hold it, hold it. Why? Um, what do you what do you want to know that for? No. Look at how does that fit yeah. in what we've been doing, what we have been discussing. Are you picking something that you're curious about? Put that aside. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Uh, okay. See, come okay. on. Hey. Uh-huh. Hey. <coughs> Guy's got some power, doesn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Look what he's doing with his power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think of that? Um, Again, does the power have some limitations? You know where it shows the limitations. Ah, as you proceed and as, as the dream unfolds, uh, does that same thing proceed? High power. Right. Ah, so as you think of those general things, come on. What now would you ask? See. Don was good. He picked up an essential point, right, which is a power. Right? The guy's got a power. Mm. What's his mind telling him about the power he has? Mm. This is what he's doing with the power. What do you think of that? He's not, just a dreamer. Just yeah, it's, he's not living up to his capability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he recognizes a certain weakness in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> see, see, these are images that are being used to communicate. So you've got to look at the major theme always and see what happens with the major theme. Part, whole. Then where are the cuts? Now this is what Barbara always says, is, you know, analysis, you know. Got to make cuts where the divisions are. You have to have the whole view, and in the whole, you have to make distinctions. Right? Yes, sir. No. So, hey, um, I think that uh, the very last sentence of paragraph one hits on to all three of them. I'm not thrilled with the idea. Right. Like. Go ahead. That's right. Wait. That's where to go. Hmm. Go ahead. Well, you said, uh, yeah, like I got this power. And I'm doing stuff I like, but then there's also consequences of what I've gotten myself into of I'm not so thrilled with where I'm at as well. No, so that's good, isn't it? A general view of the dream that can apply to his life. Oh, actually, it was when I thought of my life is when I came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> that fits, doesn't it? I was like, I see very well, but I do not act well with what I see. See, he's got the theme. Right? He's got the dream, he's got the theme. So, I, we don't have to do a damn thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, don't, well, you don't have to do a damn thing. Yeah. You see from now on. All you need is, uh-huh, yeah, and? <laughs> and it'll unfold. Yeah. What do you make of that? I 
Yeah, I've been stuck in that for a while. Yeah. Yeah. That's what the dream is saying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. He actually says it in the second paragraph. There's no way they can get me. Yeah. But I'm also stuck on top of the wall until see? they leave. Mm -hmm. But I'm good with it. Yeah. See? That's mm -hmm. good. You see how that fits in general? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how to take the particular into the general. Mm. Nice. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that, that's been it. No. That's been it. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it was a year or a couple of years. For throughout the last few years, Pierre was saying to me once in a while, you see very well. I'm like, right, I know that, but I don't act very well. Mm. Just because I can see what's happening does not mean I always act so well with what I see. That's why now the bottom paragraph is interesting, isn't it? Why? Because on the surface it looks like a separate dream. Right? Oh. Hmm. The scene shifts. Right? The scene shifts. Hmm. we read that part. Go ahead. Now keep everything we've said. The scene shifts. As he reads it. Go ahead. I'm still on the wall. I'm still on the wall. I'm high up in the air. Right? No, I'm still in this high. person's house, and there's a little girl, and she has a couple of kittens but they turn into full-grown female tigers, and the tigers can't climb the wall either, but they are sure trying. So in that sense, when they, they're getting higher up than the elephants could. Yeah, and the danger is increasing. It certainly seems that way to me. Yeah. The elephants look rather uninterested in me, the tigers yeah. are. Yeah. And, well, elephants might crush you, but tigers will eat you. Right, mm -hmm. right. Go ahead. Uh, then one comes out and it's a male tiger. Apparently the male tigers can jump higher and are bigger. This thing jumps and it gets to the wall. I think it should say onto the wall. Mm -hmm. And it's about to get on top with me and I'm like, oh, hell no. And it looks like it wants to get me and I kind of grab it and I like, or like kick it off or... I don't know, somehow I, it's not really clear, but I do some move in the dream where I, bye, you're going down. Uh, it, and it doesn't, so I don't even totally get it off the wall, I just kind of knock it down some. It doesn't, it never got to the ground, I just pushed it back. Uh, then the homeowner calls the cat, and it goes over and turns back down to kitten size, and I'm like, grab it, that thing is going to get me, and they do. So in that sense, once I recognize the danger is gone, I'm like, this thing listens to you guys. Pick it up. Yeah. Don't let it near me. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sounds like a constant struggle. <laughs> well, there you acted. Sure. Hey, that's Which important. And there he acted. Mm -hmm. uh, why does the last two words fit? And they do? They do. <laughs> uh, the, the homeowner. They go back down to size? Is yeah, the... the, the, the the tiger went back down to kitten size, and the homeowner grabbed the kitten, you know, the tiger kitten, and picked it up. So you have someone who's helping. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that curious? No one else plays a positive role. There really isn't anybody else in the dream. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, there's a little girl, yeah. Yeah. but she's just a little yeah. Yeah. toddler. Yeah. Uh, what's it like when you, at that moment, when you see uh, it turns back, the homeowner is able to turn it back to its size? Uh, I'm going to say a relief, probably. I think, yeah. But he did something quite remarkable. Right? He was able to transform it back to what it was before. I don't know if they did or... Or they did, yeah. It may be just by calling the cat, it just goes back down to kitten size. But like, they certainly have some control of it. Or different. the things trained at least to do as they wanted to. There's a different kind of power. Sure. Yeah. This is their pet. Yeah, this is a different kind of power. You have a power, which is mm. unusual, and they mm. do. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. 
What do you like? <coughs> uh, how does what does the owner look like? Hmm. No image. Okay. No image whatsoever. Okay, I couldn't. No okay. male, female, unknown. Okay. 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 Uh, Adult. See. That's the best I can give you. So, at that moment when the the homeowner calls the kitten, what was that like? And the dream. I'm going to say that's where I'm going to say relief. Mm. Mm. Great, the crisis is over. I don't have to, mm. I'm not going to have to consider how do I get out of this. Like, I'm out of it at this point. Like, yeah, so they someone, got it. Yeah, then someone saved you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then you didn't have to deal with it. Right. Mm. I wonder who the owner is. What was your last comment, Peter? I wonder who or what the homeowner is. Oh, the one true. That called because it looks like they have an unusual, comparable power. Yeah. And it's on script, so, mm -hmm. so that's good. It's not a particular person. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it exhibits a certain power. Mm-hmm. And. He doesn't seek to know or understand where that power comes from, but he's very relieved that that takes place, and that's the important thing, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Would it have been a difference if I said, hey, uh, how is it that you have kittens that turn into tigers, and right. you, you right. can control these things? Right. Like they aren't attacking you, and they do what you say. Yeah, but if you had asked that, then uh, that might give you an insight into how to handle the elephants. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, then there's someone who's got an unusual power that you allow to slip away without asking. Hmm. 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 Isn't that curious? Two kinds of power. Maybe I should sit more and start chatting with you again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, another good hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm curious. So when you, uh, when do you have this dream? Well, Three twenty-seven. About two weeks. Uh, like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Oh. Did that mean anything to you? No. Hmm. I was thinking about I just hate my job and want to quit, that's all. <laughs> Maybe that's in it there, like I hate my job, perhaps it's time to go find a different one. But you already told us what you have an interest in, but are not doing it. Hmm. Well, that would be part of seeing and not acting. Right. Hmm. So when are you going to get into Tulsa? Oh, oh, I may at well, I don't know, sure. Oh, what do you think? Tesla? Uh, I don't know if I was that interested in it. I mean, it's interesting, but... Uh, well, by the way, are people who have an interest in it likely to go someplace? I have no idea. Okay, it's, not, sure. it's not likely to be too powerful, uh, too popular. Or will it? Um, sh well, if it really takes off, it's going to change our world. Oh, then you know, wouldn't be playing a role in it. Uh, I might be. Oh, if you did what? If I got into that, I don't even like the electric field so much. Hmm. What is it about the electric field that you're attracted to and want to get away from? That's a power, isn't it? It, it certainly is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you make of that? Uh, I mean, I like the making it work, but man, some of the work you have to do to do it sucks. Yeah, but Calling the crawl spaces and attics and all hey, that hey, is yeah. horrid. But none of those things are going to be present with Tulsa. Yeah, that's true. That'll be somebody else's job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a... Yeah, yeah. It's going to get in cars too, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's likely that maybe cars will break down with whatever is being used. Do you think that people who might have a little knowledge in that field might gain a 
certain position of power? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the same way I, right now I can walk into somebody's house and be like, yeah, I see your problems with your lights and your switches and I still don't want to deal with it. Because it's <laughs> not that fun to do, but I know how. I do know how to do it. You do have the power and you're not using it, but you're using it for a lesser purpose. Oh, why is, that what the, is that what the train is saying? Wow. Hmm. Gee, I wasn't really thinking so much of job level. I mean, maybe, yeah. Oh. I tried to kick it to a higher level in my personal life, but... Uh, but, but it's going to operate on all. Yeah. All levels. I'm going to say all levels. Yeah, what will it do to you if you decide to do such a curious thing? Oh, I'm going to have to step my game up. Oh. What is that going to do? I don't know. And we how? Might as well find out. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah. Good job. Right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Really? Can I, uh, so let, me, let me ask you in general, okay? Why did you ignore the second power? You caught the first one. Bang. You say that the was, second that was the primary, hmm. right? You're talking about the homeowner? Yes. Tran okay. Yeah. I, I ignored it because it wasn't his in the dream. That's why I, I ignored it. Okay. But you want to say to yourself, everything in a dream refl reflects on the dream. Right. And get out of that trash. Yeah. Now notice, we don't, we haven't talked about the metaphors and the dreams, right? Mm. Every word in a dream is meaningful. Tigers, elephants, vipers. What's common among the three of them for our dreamers? Because they represent something, that's why they're called metaphors. Danger? Well, they're all wild and potentially dangerous. Good. Good. They're certainly wild. Good. What does that mean? <laughs> if they're wild, what does that mean? <laughs> well, wild being not tame, unpredictable. Well, perhaps predictable, but not a maybe in a general sense. Like mm -hmm. I know the well, say in. I also recognize in the stream I'm thinking of a rattlesnake instead of the viper, and I realize I don't, I'm out of my element here. Say, so is it possible that all of those wild animals uh, represent the way in which you look at your present occupation? Certain things you fear and worry about? Could be. Oh. Mm. I mean, if you screw up, it'll kill you. Yeah. Yeah. They just, yeah. Dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. Look at the levels of danger. Who is in Every one of them. <coughs> hmm. What are we doing now? We're shifting from the drama of the dream to the symbols in the dream, the metaphors in the dream, right? Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? I don't know. Uh, Let me see. Would you, uh, did, like, could you point to something in your life where not using your power led you to get into a dangerous situation? Mm. Not using my power? I mean, I guess if you're saying, like, by not using the power and following my path logos, sure, I've got myself into all kinds of trouble. Mm -hmm. No, what is that about path logos? Well, I'm saying, if you're saying using your power, like, uh, in terms of seeing and acting well. Right. You know, following one's true self versus, uh... Well, the other crap that comes up, well, if I go with the other crap, then yeah, I'll get myself in trouble, or I have in the past. Uh, is that something recent that you could point to? That is... Well, I mean, I guess if I looked at it like my normal, my current job, mm -hmm. uh, 
in terms of a license, I had started out with the goal, I don't need this job anymore, it's not doing anything for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's mm-hmm. probably useful for, uh, I'm still learning there, like how to do the kitchen, like remodels of houses, and when times get tough, that's what you make your money off of, but I don't, I hate doing it, it sucks. I mean, just because everybody else I know wants it done for them, I don't like doing it. Go pay somebody else. <laughs> I'll do my own and leave me a... Ugh. Time to leave. Time to go on to, Time to leave. commercial or industrial, because that's where I need the hours to get a better license, and eventually you get your contractor's license, and I don't have to actually do this crap. Mm. But all, of, well, you those, need to know but all of those things are likely to dramatically change in the, in the next two years. Mm. I don't know about two, but uh, well, it's gonna it's gonna years. come. Two years. Like so. Uh, so is there a danger in staying in that position? I guess if you look at it like that, sure. Like say if you're a, a Uber driver, or a truck driver, and you know that automated cars are gonna wipe your job out, you better start looking ahead. Of although I hear so, my brother is kind of curious. He says that he's going to USC. They talk about it in their schools, like half the jobs out there are going to be gone. And the Trump voters who love him for, I'm going to save your jobs, he's like, these guys that want to work for a living, he's like, it's not even going to be their fault. They won't have a job. They're just not going to be there. So whether you grew up with, all oh, work for a living, it doesn't matter. Even if you want to, it's going to be gone. So, you know, what I like about the way you think mm-hmm. is that you grasp the nature of the problem. Yeah. Uh, be an interested writing what you see hmm. and get it out. We just collapsed a crisis among Trumpers. Oh, that's I a, don't... That's, no, no, that, that's a nice statement to get out. Well, so you have the hardcore base of, you know, the guys that love the attitude. I'm like, he's not going to help. He can't help you, even if he could. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Technology is going to wipe it all out. See, he's got a whole thesis of the future. Right. Is it not important for him to put it on a piece of paper and be a spokesman for what he sees? Mm-hmm. That's power. He's not using his mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, the guy, right? He grasped it all. Mm-hmm. He can sense. see it. He can see it. Got a vision of it. Yeah. Well, see, that's where I heard of the, uh, the like, old Mark Zuckerberg. They're playing with the, the universal income kind of thing up in Oakland, where they're. Hey, in Holland, they're using it in Sweden. Mm-hmm. They're going to be using it in Russia. They just voted it in in Hawaii. Yeah. Well, it's sad. Uh-huh. Unanimously. I, I say that to guys and then they get horrified. I'm like, well, the super rich class, they, they'll have to fear the poor if uh, if they're super poor. This is a pretty armed country, and <laughs> oh, you get a 50 million armed Americans pissed off. That's not a good thing for our society. So if you keep everybody uh, at least fed and living middle class, if I see, what they're missing yeah. is Prometheus legend. We don't understand the Prometheus legend. Mm. That's central. What are the implications for the people of Prometheus? Well, finish him out. Finish his idea. Well, no, that's what I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Well, what? I didn't hear your point. No, she well, doesn't want you to finish her idea. Oh, he was no. saying my question okay, was I designed to elicit I that. Didn't know oh, it, yeah. Do you know what he means by that? I think so, but go, go for it, Pierre. Mm. See, the question is whether we live in a universe that's going to be run by uh, Abrahamic religions and their work ethic or not. Work is tied in with Mm. Protestantism. They go together. Being a Lutheran means you're committed to a life of work. And as variations of that. We have to work because of what happened to Adam and Eve, right? On the sweat of your brow, you're going to have to... It, it's mm-hmm. always work is, is our terrible fate because of some primary sin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Prometheus legend made yeah. the Greeks the Greeks. Mm. See, Prometheus stole fire from the heavens mm-hmm. and the arts, including dreams. The art of dreams comes out of Prometheus' legend. Mm. So therefore, the implication is 
that the I'll give this guy the implication the, the consequences for the people <laughs> is well when you were talking about work I see you mean yeah. meaningless work I see that that all goes away right Prometheus work. brought all of the arts for the one reason to relieve man of work yeah <clears throat> So he could then use his life for the arts. And play. That's the goal of the Prometheus legend. That, hey, you don't have to be tied to work. I mean, if work was so important, you'd never get a job. Why? Good question. All the rich because the rich would buy it up. <laughs> oh, I see. So so important. My brother's been running around Europe a lot lately and he's, he's, it's totally disillusioned him with America. He's like, they don't work like us. Mm -mm. They, they work and they don't live in these giant, massive, ridiculous houses that they can't even use or maintain. And then they vacation and enjoy themselves and their families and their friends. Mm -hmm. And we work and work and work just to make the man really, really rich. Good. So we get out of the billionaire class. Yeah. Or too many of them. I, I have a nephew, hey, he's got over 20 bedroom home. Yeah. Hey, as a matter of fact, I was heard that it was 32, but I'm, I won't use that number. Well, when he gets uh -huh. 40, we'll expect him to fill it with virgins. Yeah. <laughs> so that, yeah, and it's difficult in Brooklyn today to get 20 virgins. Ooh, I have a cousin with an 11 car garage no, in Minnesota. You know, I mean, <laughs> but he only has one car, but he has one car. Literally billions of dollars, by my nephew. Billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Could I make yeah. a parenthetical point? Please. I brought a dream. So if, oh, if good. we have a, Let's I, there may be another dream. No, no, there's no. another stack of dreams yes, you got it? underneath. No? Can you pass Everybody's it around, please? Yeah. Work is work. Can no, I, can I, you I have good to know. Your shirt's on the table. You do your shirts first. Barbara and Jeff, can you do me a favor and just switch your uh, sure. seats so I can get the camera? Angle? Tina said she has a dream no, no. too. But that was that's already kind of been done, so don't worry about it. That's do already kind of been, been done. done. There you go. Somebody mark, don't worry about it. Please. She said it's already been already kind of been done. Kind of been done. Kind of. I don't know. You have to ask her when it's done. You have one. the same question yeah. I have. Right. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I, don't I know know like your other. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm going to have to wear a hat, just so you'll... You know, you I don't know what it means. Mm. Oh, you do? Elda? Oh, good. But I'm not going to hear your dream. Oh, okay. Do you have okay. some of these spicy ones? Thank no, you. Yeah. You should try it. It's got jalapenos in it. Oh, thank you. Okay, look here now. Before yeah. you oh, read it, okay. let's talk. Oh. Come on. What are you first going to do? I'm going to read. See it as oh, a whole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was talking. Look for themes and see it as a whole. Yes. This is your what dream? else? Yeah. Right here? No. Nope. See the roll of the, the one I have in my hand. In you want oh, more? Come on. Know. Stick to okay. mine. Okay. Let yeah, me know when you decide. Mine. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Pattern. I thought you were passing it out. <laughs> I was. But, but like you. Pattern. I if decided pattern I could omit you the way you omit me. It was watch, only fair. Watch how they're functioning. Yeah, yeah, it's the game often. Of the game. You start with everybody else last night. No dream. No nothing. Oh, so it's a revenge one? No, no. Oh. It's a let me show you how it works. Uh-huh. How what works? Not giving someone a copy of a dream. I've been out of dreams last night. Yeah, but you always start at the opposite side of the room. You gave two from where? new people. From where? from where I was sitting. I, was I didn't even know you were there. Can we do this dream? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't no. do that deliberately, if that's what you think I well, did. Well, you do it like every time, Jules. Every time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you pass me my backpack, my, my uh, recorders? And it happens. Yep. Oh, I'm just reading it. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is the, that's where you got the, the power. Oh, no, I got that because he said that he was like spider. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, that's oh, is it going to get cold so I have to turn on that? On the... <laughs> <laughs> on my fireplace. <laughs> I'm not following you. I'm joking. I'm going, oh. is it going to get cold so I have to turn on my fireplace? Oh. <laughs>
you were saying that before we read the dream, we should look at something, and then I inadvertently created more of a disruption than I had intended. Mm -hmm. But and now, of course, we've read the dream, so we can't really do that. Except I really would really like to know what it was you were going to say. Mm. Keep in mind everything I said before. It's obvious. Mm. Mm. The idea of the theme and the... Yeah. That is, is the second really good hat, yeah. That is a... I never, I never felt like I'd look good in hats, but this one is... <laughs> but I want to wear one, you know? <laughs> that does better than Trump's. No, oh. you know the funny an, thing is this announces you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. The funny thing is, the more I see Trump's hat, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I would look good in that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, no. yeah, because you start to see like like that kind of not brainwashing, but you kind no. of start to implant yourself into that role too. No. <laughs> because no. you're thinking like, well, everybody's wearing it, you know, that like in the media, I mean. Mm. What does it say on the hat? Because I can't quite read it against the. Uh, this is a Marvel Comics ah. hat. Yeah. It has all the characters from the. Oh, cool. Uh, the superheroes. Yeah. I read those when I was a kid. I like them a yeah, lot. Yeah, I know. Huh? I think we all grew up watching something. So, ready to go? <clears throat> Pierre, could you remind us of the. Everything I said before, just briefly. <laughs> so we have some uh, fertile <coughs> seeds, seeds mm. here. I do remember looking at the dream as a whole, right. ignoring the things that you might be curious about. Hold those at bay for now. Regina well, we're saying hold those at bay. Yeah. Anything else? Art. How the person. How the person is functioning as a whole. That's right. If there are any powers that they're, well, in Jeff's case, right. are any powers they're giving up on that they could be using, seeing, but not acting? Right. Anything but else? But the theme, too, right? As a mm -hmm. general what, what theme What is the overall. theme of the whole theme, theme? right. Yeah. yeah. Anything else? That, that's good. Okay. Sure. Uh, so started. <laughs> I, I set up the ball on the tee, didn't I? Um, Well, the reason I asked that is precisely because I thought all of those things, and it is still not obvious to me. Yes, it is. You have a copy, right? I, I gave I, you one. I read it twice over. It helps to read right. it a second time. Right. You still read the first time. Okay. It isn't. It, this is not invariable. But quite frequently, the entire message is in the first paragraph. Why? Because that's how the dream sets the theme. Mm. Not it's in not it, it's not an invariable rule, but it, it's uh, it's worth saying. Well, is it in the we don't really do anything? We don't really do anything. That's in the that's in the first paragraph. Right. Well, yeah, but she does do things. Um, I noticed that uh, she's sitting with friends. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Great. It sounds like it's a great atmosphere. And something very faint, and it's hard to notice it, takes you away from that state. Something that's... Okay. Half. Is it... Half these are a good beginning. Half though, that's the rest of it. Do you have a copy? I do. Okay. Yes. I have <coughs> some things underlined as well. No problem. <laughs> um. So it, it looks like that first uh, par paragraph. She senses and sees. I I, I want to say, but not really asked the right questions with with these 
policemen and... Well, no, the, 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 oh. the first paragraph for a moment. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, you're quite right, by the way. But so, so tell me, me more about what you see in the first so paragraph. The, the, the metaphor for these kind of earthquake shape is, to me, something else um, that she's seeing, and it's like a hint to her, maybe okay. a sign. That's good. More? She's in a group of people, so we are doing this. Does it appear that... Uh, <coughs> did you remember uh, Jeff's dream? I think so. Oh. Oh, <coughs> oh Jeff Lowe. I was thinking Jeff <laughs> 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 Say, uh, Jeff, does it appear that uh, she has an unusual power? <laughs> uh, does anyone else recognize what's going on? Uh, the, the pop does. No, no, no. Stay in the first part, okay. right? Um. Is it possible that she's seeing something going on? She is has aware of something no one else is? Yeah, she has the rec it says that she recognizes the, the yeah. shaking and the, the we yeah. don't necessarily. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. has this glass of so question. It starts out then that she has a, uh, a certain sensitivity that others don't. Right. That her friends around the table don't. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, does that dream talk about that sensitivity going in th this way and that way? Sure. Oh. Not the same thing. Uh, what happens to it? See, so very unusual. So now, whatever she's doing, does that equally show a certain sensitivity towards uh, What's going on around her? Yes or no? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well then, is there some problem that emerges? That therefore she's not really capitalizing on the sensitivity. Or it's subverted or, or transformed or belittled or something happens to it. There's a there's a sense of uncertainty about what to do or what uh, I don't I don't have an example but I, I'll let me look at it a little more. Okay. So look here, we're looking at the global scene, right? What kind of a person is in the dream? The whole thing? No, the thing, the thing. As mm. it is, as the opening scene creates the thing. It's the same as the same thing as Jeff's dream. Well. We want to see what happens with this ability. But she perceives someone is dangerous if we're going out of that. First paragraph. She's perceiving something else. She's seeing something else. Is she, okay, is, is she in a scene where she recognizes she's sensitive to something that's going on? Yes. Ah, oh. oh. Good. Give me a grade of how well she's doing with her sensitivity now. Great. She's the only one seeing it. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, because she's uh, giving a judgment. Okay. Opinion. Right. You got it. Okay. Maybe more like a C. What? I was going to say a C, like similar, not much action. A C -er? No, no, a C grade. Oh, a C. Letter C. Yeah, yeah. No, a C E. <laughs> I was thinking a C. -er. <laughs> okay, look at. 
Because <laughs> even though she um, says that the guy's dangerous, the police officer says there's no danger. Right? Okay. He says he doesn't right. feel dangerous to me, but she still feels the whole situation is such that it is. But her, would you agree she's showing the same kinds of sensitivity to issues at this point? You landed on a key point. Mm -hmm. What's the key point? That she feels it's still dangerous. Is that it? You, you're, the word you used was dangerous. Dangerous. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a crisis. Mm -hmm. I should Tell make me. that clear. He doesn't seem feel dangerous to me. That's me. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the thief guy doesn't feel dangerous to me. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not the police. The police right, guy, right. Paul, no. it says, and I say, yeah, and he says, that's not, that no, isn't a continuation thief. of him. The thief is dangerous. Correct? R right. Mm -hmm. In the dream, the thief doesn't feel dangerous to me. But I still feel the whole situation is such, I want to somehow tell the thief what I've done and that I don't have the money, right? I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I ask a, also but another? But you feel that the situation is dangerous? Well, the thing, that's, see, in, later in the dream, I think I should, that the person might be dangerous. But this part is like, by, by going to him and say, look, I don't have the money. Mm -hmm is resolving that problem. Mm. Yeah, she's making sure it's not I, dangerous, mm -hmm, that she has no connection to it. See, um, um, I'm sorry that wasn't clear. Maybe it's still a problem, but I wanted to be sure you understood who the mm -hmm. key was. Mm -hmm. Pierre, can I just jump in with another point of clarification just for myself? I just want to understand something, you know, at a basic level. In the last paragraph, Barbara, um, so you go, and you, you go back to Paul and talk with him. Paul is the policeman, uh, and he's empathizing with you. Well, I know, you know, you know, it's so difficult when you find blah blah blah. And then he asks you. He's actually empathizing. He's just making that as a general principle. Okay. As it's so principle. difficult when someone finds out about their universe that another oh, okay. person is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then good. So the, thank you for. And then he, he says, I think he. You say, I think he asked me, how do you feel when you find someone has done something bad? You know like unethical, criminal, especially like if it's a policeman. He's very, uh, and then you say, well, it kind of casts, it puts a stain on the whole profession, kind of, at least that group of policemen. And he agrees, and we're all looking at the situation. The thing that I'm confused about right there is that Paul is the policeman, not the other guy. That's quite right. So but what am I missing about, you both are drawing, there are two sentences that are. No, no, wait. You're not missing anything. Okay. It's not clear, but it, but in the dream, it, uh, it it appears that the guy that I was talking to that I don't know his name is also a policeman. That's what I wanted oh. to know. Exactly. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. And that's what it oh. looks like by, it, impl by the implication that. of this yes. paragraph. Yes. Yeah, it does. yeah. Okay. And I mean, in the, when I recorded it, it, this is pretty much exactly what I recorded. This is this morning's dream, and that's my sense of, of what that is. I mean, it's like, and so therefore but I wouldn't have... I don't know what to say about that. That that's an unfoldment of the dream that sure, he's, sure. or that we're putting that name on him at this point. I don't well, know. Well, then it would. Would you? Would you think that at least within the dream it implies that Paul would know the guy? Yes. Because of them both being. Yes. Dead. Yes. Okay. And the guy has a really like I want to say wholesome quality. The thief has a very, and he has this child, and he's mm. very, you know kind of concerned about the child and uh, and um, when he, when I give him the thing and he says he, he sees where what would have happened with the money he says I gave it to and he said he gave it to Paul and I say yeah and he says um, something he sees the implications and he goes oh god yeah. okay right, right. but the, it's not coming back towards me right right, right. he's so, got a situation now he has to yeah, with. yeah. And he's not like, oh, okay, I'll go get my Mauser and drill a guy. It isn't like that. He's not, he's not building a case against Paul or the police. Okay. Right? Thanks. I, I just wanted to... Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's very weird, though. I have to say that all that I've said 
is not untrue. Yet, there is um, a state of mind I get into that has led to some dangerous situations that I have only escaped because someone else has seen the potential danger and blocked it. Right. Okay? So there's this kind of cool state of mind where I feel like I'm aware of what's going on, yet um, in at least two instances I could name, um, there was a great, there was really a potential nasty thing that didn't take place because of someone else going, ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I can give you an ex the example. It's very brief, but I was traveling and I was in a gift shop and there was a, a beautiful young man. Hmm. <laughs> Which one can always appreciate. Whoa. <laughs> uh -huh. Must have been. <laughs> yeah, really, right? So he is a bicyclist and I'm a customer and the guy behind the counter is somebody I know. And kind of, you know, many trips. So he says, so I, the guy says, oh, my, I, my tire's flat on my bicycle and oh, it would be really good if I got uh, a ride to the, to the nearby city because we're in the middle of the Redwoods, the D part of the Redwoods where there is no bicycle repair. Mm -hmm. So um, he, and I'm thinking, I can do that. I can give this guy six feet tall, plenty of muscle, nobody I know, a ride. Yeah in the afternoon, almost the evening, to a city, right? And maybe back. And maybe, we don't know. So the guy says, <laughs> the guy behind the counter, so I'm going, oh, I can do that. And the guy behind the counter says, no, no, just, I think it would be good if you just wait until I finish my shift and I'll give you the ride. And suddenly it was like something fell off my eyes and I said, yeah, that's true. That's a good idea. Because even though he looked harmless, the young man, I didn't know him from Adam. And to put myself in a situation where we're alone, <clears throat> not good. Well, if that's the case, then in this dream, you're seeing a lot of the danger and you're taking active action about it and putting it into words and addressing it such that the policeman, I guess, who took the money, uh, you addressed him directly. Yeah, you get that danger off of yourself. I'm really not sure if that's well, what that did. I agree with, uh, yes. right, that's the thing. Um, again, I went into that scene telling the thief and coming out of the scene telling the thief in this cool state of mind, what mm -hmm. Pierre's calling a sensitivity, okay? Mm -hmm. But um, I went into to him because I thought there was a danger. That move in particular is suspect. Right. Okay. That's the heart of it. Why Therefore, you can find that sentence in that this dream, and you can ask what it was like at that moment. What is mm -hmm. the suspect? Which one? Right. Hold on, I've got to find the sentence. Oh, okay. And I'll tell you. Right. Something happened in the dream. I'm not sure what. You'd have to name the paragraph, because otherwise, I'm going to scan it and find it, because I don't see it yet. Mm -hmm. I know it's there. It looks like number 12. In, in, in the, the dream, dream, he doesn't feel dangerous? In the dream, he doesn't feel dangerous to me, mm. but I mm. feel the whole situation is such that I, I want somehow, somehow to tell him what I've done, that I don't have the money, and I've given it to Paul, this whole, is that necessary? No. That's it. No. There it is. Mm-hmm. Right. See, and I think the somehows, that's especially that last somehow, that that's will right. somehow clear me of connection. Right. Uh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, because it's like you're going to a thief, someone who's engaged in major crime. Yeah. Major crime. We're talking a full bag of big bound money like you'd get in a yeah. robbery. Yes. Okay? Unethical criminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But unethical is not really the deal. But eth but criminal, criminal, it's like major kickbacks. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you want to call that money? Yeah. So, so he's, well, and I'm the guy who's I'm the person who's connecting him to it mm -hmm. legally. But see, somehow I think that if I go and say, "Hey, I didn't do anything wrong," <laughs> that that's going to make it okay. Well, you know, we're all good. Yeah, we're good, aren't we? <laughs> you know?
wait, wait. Did you, in the dream, did you suspect that he there was a possibility that he might have seen you pick up the bag? No. No, I mean that's okay. why it's kind of yeah, weird that no I'm going and tying myself to it. So therefore, that's. Oh yeah, I felt like somebody could tell him that. I did have ah, that, okay. that see, thought in the dream. See, that's that. In that case, I think I would argue the opposite, Pierre. I would say that this is uh, is necessary because if he's thinking in the dream that there's a possibility that someone could tell this guy, and he's a nasty figure, despite his appearance, I sure as hell would like these, this nasty guy to know, I don't have it anymore, so don't be coming after me. Well, but definitely I don't have it, but the thing is... Pardon me, look here. Are you saying the person in the dream would not be vulnerable to tell them that they did something with their money and gave it to a police? Uh, in, in either case, vulnerable, yes, but you're moving to a lower level of vulnerability if you preempt. You're doing a good thing for yourself. You're saying, don't be coming after me. I can't stop you from still coming after me, but FYI, it ain't going to be in my place. You might be the money isn't, but better you see, spending your time going over to Paul's place. See, I'm um, just more over the point of having yourself in the situation in the first place. Is the person willing to engage in what could potentially be a dangerous situation? Yes. Do they need to? No. Well, that is, for me, the better question, but it doesn't happen at this point in the dream. That question you just asked happens at an earlier point where the guy puts the bag down and she decides to pick it up. That's the point where I would say, do you need to be doing involving yes. yourself in this? Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Oh. <clears throat> But yes, there's a series of things you could question. Having uh, done so, however, why not, why not. I think she's In clear terms of the dream, does it look innocent to begin with? No. Yeah, it does. On the it does. Well, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. Doesn't he do right? Picking up the bag that someone has left in the park. On the surface, it does look innocent. Look, look innocent. And it looks right. appropriate. But he should, could have called the police over and showed him instead of picking it up. Oh, you're in the park? Mm -hmm. I thought you were looking across the street. Yeah, it depends on how she assesses the guy, at what point she assesses the guy who put the bag down. It doesn't matter. Because if she only assessed him later, that he could be dangerous, right? But if she had assessed him before he put the bag down, then he could be dangerous. I don't Those really are, that's think a that I assessed the money at the point where I picked it up as a criminal act, just okay. that I wanted that's it. Right to go to, um, it needed to go somewhere, you right. know, and I didn't. But the question, I mean, given your waking life, which is a really nice example with the bike and the redwoods and so forth, um, you also did not assess that as a potential criminal act either at the time. Sure. But later saw that it could have been. Yep. So if we played that back on the dream, is it possible the dream is saying, could I have considered that act, could I have considered that bag at an earlier point? Could I have considered that bag what, as a criminal yeah, thing earlier? Just could I have? Yeah. No idea. Is it possible that that's what No that idea. I don't know if I can answer that question. Yeah, well, could I have considered it earlier? No. Or could you, or, yeah, would there. it be important? So, Not so much could you, but the, if you want to start going into the significance of these decisions, you have to start out with the first problem, which mm. is mm. Uh, what state of mind was it, was it when I say something, this person has left, left this and I don't know what to do with it. Yep. Is that true? Yep. Yes. No, she does know what to do with yeah. it. She gave it to the cop. Yeah. So you can ask what kind of state of mind is hmm, it when you're right. playing ignorant? Diddly do right. Mm -hmm. um, right? I mean, <laughs> if you want to go through the, the, the stages of the stream, that's the first one. Why? Yeah. Mm. Because you don't know why, but you can now ask, say when you said that in the dream, what was it like to say, there I am with the money and I don't know what to do with it as you're talking to okay, the Okay, but mm, there's a, that's a good question. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I am 
not sure. Um, I can tell you, that, probably tell you the state of the mind, but I don't know what to do with it. It might have to do with, I didn't feel comfortable leaving it there, right? On the table, where it was, or on the, wherever it was. Um, let me think. The state of mind. True. There, you, yeah, you're getting at something. There's a pretense there. Yeah. <coughs> There's a, see, it kind of like that same, it is very similar to this naivete. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I don't know I don't what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. As you're giving it to the cop. As I'm giving it to the cop. Very sad, yeah, it's true. Now, how does that state of mind continue? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, I think we already said that it was in the, it is in the state of mind when I go over to defuse the situation. Like, same that was thing. wrong. Same oh, state of mind. Oh, my goodness. Look, same state of mind. You can practically see a little pink ball in my head. Little and it shows <laughs> greater danger as it continues. Yeah. That she's willing to take on. I mean, I kind of like, That's it's almost like a dual personality. I don't, s the little dancing over person saying, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a different person, yeah. you know. There you are. Sure. And it, it lets you walk into the belly of the beast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that theme, that person, she, she's exhibiting a certain state of mind. Can you follow that through the story and what happens to it? And that's what you just said. Mm -hmm. So look her. Very sensitive person. Mm -hmm. Right? As a matter of fact, <clears throat> it raises a question. So let me let me ask you. Um, say in that first paragraph, um, um, I say you know it must be an earthquake. Uh, is there any sense in the dream that you get a response to that? Mm -mm. What does that mean in the dream? Hmm. Well, by the time I say it, I'm going to give this as additional information. The dream is, the glass is a glass full of cold liquid. It's sweating, and it's just kind of doing this. Yeah. Just smallest amount. Oh, yeah. And it's not like getting bigger, you know, yeah, where they say, yeah. okay, you know, it's going somewhere. No, not going anywhere. But, and so my feeling is, yes, it's an earthquake, but it's not a danger to me. And so, um, or the people I'm sitting with. But um, they seem to be um, completely unaware that I've said something. That's right. So then you're seeing, again, something that no one else has seen. Yeah. Except the people around seem to respond to it as if it's a major event, right? They're all coming out of their houses with their furniture and their families. You know, they, in order to, it looks like they're all coming out in response to that trembling. Uh, well. I mean, that, that's the way I take it. That's okay. That, that's an important addition. Yeah. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. So that there are some people then, apart from your inner circle around the table, that are aware that it's that are aware, and they I think they evaluate it either halfway, either across the park it's a bigger earthquake, or mm -hmm. they just have a you know people who are not Californians or not coastal have mm -hmm. a different reaction to any form of earthquake. You know, it's just like ah! you know they freak out, and that's what and these people didn't seem particularly panicked. But they were leaving their house with their possessions. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. And they see, were inside, then, too. They had been inside, yeah. yeah see. Follow that thing. Second paragraph. Then they walk back. Uh-huh, he walks back. Back yeah. to the house. Yes. Right? Yes. So I could have known that he was bringing back something valuable, enough to... Sure. Yes, get whatever. Right, right. But yeah. I th mm. So like you're seeing things that are going on that are very important. Mm-hmm. Right? And you're seeing someone respond to it. 
he's going back into the house, even though going back in the house, and he just witnessed what may be an earthquake, mm -hmm. he's going back to get something that's important to him. Mm -hmm. Comes back with the money. Yeah. That starts the drama. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I don't even know if I... You know, it's another one of those cases of being sensitive to the fact that he, or seeing that he did it without really seeing all the implications. No, that, no, that's therefore, true. it's a bag of important stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So but you're it. saying. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, what do you do with your sin? Uh. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't myself act like it's real, you know. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't, and the people that I'm with don't either. <laughs> but, I mean, they don't even hear it. Yeah. And then the drama is you then you play the game of being naive. Yes. And what does that do to your sensitivity? Um, I'd say it overrides it. Right. That's a crisis. So. So you'd want to go where that particular event in the dream goes and you say, okay, what's it like at that moment, mm. wherever it is. Mm -hmm. And that's where we got that innocent thing. Right. Yeah. Now you say, right. little girl-ish thing. Huh. So everything in the dream is important. Mm. So you gotta, Look at states of mind. See, again and again, it's states of mind you have to become familiar with. And what happens to them? I have a question. Because that's what's real, not mm -hmm. physical things. Mm -hmm. I have a question that she stated but wasn't followed up, which was when she saw the money, she, didn't, she felt like she had to do something. And I see that as like what made her think that it was necessary to do anything since the guy left it. Well, in the beginning, I... Your point is not clear. Well, she said that she felt like she had to do something when no. she saw the money. No. And at that point, I thought, where, what in the dream indicated or why she felt like she had to do something. It wasn't her money. The guy left it, walked away from it. So what is it in the, was that a moment where she feels like she needs to do something because there's somebody else's crisis or somebody else's issue? I didn't know. See. Because that's what it came from her. You're tingling on something, you're, you're asking, uh, was this an unusual circumstance for someone to be in, essentially? Uh, right, so now you're answering that. You're saying that particular kind of scene is problematic in some way. Well, yeah, given her, right, hold in part. Well, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I was seeing, I was seeing that it, the way she talked about the biker was similar. Yeah, but we're on. The, but going back to that moment, I mean, she made the statement. Pardon? Did she not also make the statement that it was a positive thing to do? Someone lost something, so she wanted to pick it up and keep it. Do something with it. They, they lost it. They left it. Why is that problematic? Well, no. She had a question at that moment. Why is that problematic in your thinking? Well, the person left it. They didn't leave it in that less in one sense they left it. Well, they left it. Okay. And abandoned it. Abandoned it. Yeah. And she felt an awkward somewhere somewhere she did say. Was something she was struggling with, with at that moment. What do I do with it? You know, what should I do something with this? I think she said. But she's doing something with it. She's bringing it over to a cop. Something has been lost. Someone has been. Someone left a purse there. 
so you want to do something about it because it's, you know, it's something that might be valuable and you give it to a cop. Here's the problematic aspect of that. I, I thought she saw there was money there. No, later it was transparent. Oh, later? Yeah, even though it set, that sentence is in there, mm. I think that's only there because later oh, I, I knew there was money in it. At the time... You didn't see the money when you... I might have seen the money, but it, was kind of, it wasn't like theft money at that point. It was somebody's valuables. Like the other people had all brought valuables out of their house. Right. This guy had gone... I, I thought he'd gone to get his child, you know, and they'd gone home. Okay. And he'd, he'd just left the bag because in his mind he wanted to get his child, right? That's my, that was what my thinking, that's not all of that in recorded no. here. But, and so uh, I saw it as someone leaving something important. And that's why, and I did just feel, and that is the way I think that, if somebody leaves something important, you do something with it. You don't just but, but leave still, it there. But still, if if you did see whether or not you did, if you did see that it was money in there, then uh, that changes it from just somebody's valuables to there's a bunch of money in here. Like if it was me and I saw that much money, I would just put it back and go in the other direction. Oh, see, I wouldn't. And, and that's, but, but if I see money anywhere, my first impulse, my dad gave me such grief over this, my impulse was, take but, it to the police. Excuse me, this is not a moral issue. This is an issue in a dream of someone being sensitive. We're tracing the sensitivity through this event. And therefore, the question is whether or not that is showing a sensitivity for someone else's lost property. So but, you have to keep it in terms of the dream. Well, I don't think it's a...